Doug here from Yaskawa, and I'm at AWG in Lexington, uh, checking out their newest weld cart, uh, partnering with us, of course. And they're using our HC10 collaborative robot. Uh, so I'm here to demonstrate how easy it is to program their, their robot. You know, uh, Cobots, it's all about ease of use. Uh, so let's jump into it. So on the pendant, we are starting from scratch. So I'm going to go up to a new job. And we're just going to put in Doug test. So we've got our new job here. I'm going to go into edit. So you can see we are starting completely from scratch. And because a lot of people like the hand guiding aspect, that's what we're going to go into. So I've got hand guided selected. And so now what I can do is uh, actually, the first thing I want to do is set up my home position. And I'm, I'm happy with that as my home position. So if you can just touch the teach button up there, and it'll automatically populate that point. So now I want to go into my first, first weld point. So all right, so we look pretty good there. So I'm going to teach that point. And now I'm going to move down to the very end. And we're going to teach teach the last point there. And now I'm just going to bring it up and out of the way. We've got that taught. I'm going to go back and we're going to fine tune some things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label that first point my home position. So that way I always know exactly where that home is. And I'm also going to copy that and I'm going to add it to the end as well. So that way as soon as my job is over, it's going to go back to that home position. Now what I want to do is I want to change some speeds here. So we can quickly do that. When I come into the uh, first weld, I want that to be a linear move. And I want it to be a little bit slower. And then when I actually do my uh, actually weld, I want that to be a linear move. And that I want to be 6.8 millimeters a second. And then when I come out of my weld, I want that to be a linear move at a little bit slower than normal. And then the going back home, I want that to be 400%. Okay, so the next thing we can do is I know this was my first weld spot, so I'm going to go to that point. And now what I can do is when I'm looking at the torch, you can see my torch angles are not correct, right? So I am I'm not necessarily at a 45. I'm not necessarily at negative 10 degree approach. So now what we can do is we come, come back here. And by just clicking over to XYZ World, now what I can do is I can change that. 45 degrees, negative 10. And now when you watch the torch, if I say go to position, it's going to correct my torch angles. And now I can reteach that point. So now I've locked in that point from hand guiding, and then I've retaught it from an angle perspective. And now what I want to do is I want to go to the final point and do the same thing. So I go to that final point and I want to type in my 45 degrees and my negative 10 approach and we can watch the torch correct itself and now I've retaught that. And all I'll do is I'm going to add my arc on and arc off commands arc on there and that is the arc start file that we've programmed into the power supply and then here is where we're going to turn arc off so we're going to select that same file and so now we've got a home a start position we're welding here's our move to the end we turn the arc off we back away and we go back to home and so what we want to do is we want to check it, right? 
So I'm going to take it up to the home position first. And now I'm just going to take it through the job and see how we did. So we're coming into that first point. And you can see this is a great, great time to check your speed, your angles. And now as it finishes up, it's going to pull away. And then it's going to go slide over into that home position again. All right, so now that we know we're good to go there, we are going to switch it into remote mode. And so while you can play it straight from the smart pendant, you can also go into remote mode because here on the cart, they've got, they've got it set up to where you can turn the servos on and off here and then also start the job. So we're going to go ahead and start that job and I'm going to get my shield on. All right, and with that, we've uh, I've become a robot programmer. So just like that, this uh, using the AWG weld cart, you can see how 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 much we've simplified uh, the welding process, the robotic welding process. So thanks for watching, and talk to us soon.